Hi, I'm Dr. DeMary. Today I'll be showing you my famous fat-burning liver detox juice. I'm going to be going over how easily you can make this to help your skin glow, to lose that belly fat, and for anti-aging purposes. If you stick out to the end, I will share with you more tips on how to do my liver detox program where you'll learn more juices just like this one. All right, let's get started. All right, as I'm putting this omega juicer together, let me tell you what are some benefits of juicing. Now, juicing has uh, gotten a lot of bad rep because it's, it can be very high in sugar and you're missing out on the fiber. However, I will show you how to juice so you're not getting a lot of sugar and how to reuse a lot of the fiber that's left over. So this is super easy to put together as you can see. Some of the ingredients that I have actually help lower cholesterol, they help lower blood sugar, blood pressure, and are best to probably have on an empty stomach first thing in the morning or right at night as dinner if you're trying to lose weight. All right, so this is all set, super easy to clean, and let's get started. Here are the ingredients. We have the big surprise, garlic. I know, how are we going to juice garlic and how is this gonna taste? I'll let you know, but the main ingredient in this juice are dandelion greens. There's a reason why I'm wearing this maroon colored shirt because the way to help the anti-aging properties of the body and the liver is to eat more fruits and vegetables that are this dark purple rich color. Just as you can see in the vein of this dandelion, you can see how beautifully it's very green and just like the veins that run in your body, it is this color. Rhubarb also has this, Swiss chard has this, all the chards and all the green leafy vegetables have this. Beets, you see the purple color? You're also gonna have, these are from my garden, some nice carrots, organic carrots. You're gonna see the orange turmeric root, anti-inflammatory properties, right? Very good for inflammation. Ginger, very warming. So I will go over some of the things here that are warming and cooling and what that means. But this is a very balanced juice. Very warming, good for the digestive system. Celery, you've probably all heard of the celery juice um, <laughs> diet and fat that's going on in the morning. I'll talk more about that. We've got some cucumbers. You have the choice of red or green apples. I prefer green, lowest in sugar. And the way to combat the taste of the garlic and the bitterness of the dandelions is always to add a lemon. So let's get started and start juicing. So with the apple, it's very important that you just don't put it in and you get rid of the seeds because it has cyanide in it, which you've heard of cyanide gas. It's not something we want to eat. These seeds are very good if you have cancer. So a lot of cancer cells we want to kill and we want to kill everything. So we want poison, right? That's what chemotherapy is. It's literally poison. So if you don't have cancer, you don't want to kill your good cells. You don't want to cut a lot of greens with metal. It can oxidize it. So usually when I'm making salad, I actually just cut it with my hands. I don't use a knife. But for the purposes of this, we will cut it. And then beets, be careful. It will stain everything. It will stain your clothes. It will stain your fingers. So if you just got a nice manicure, it's going to get ruined. <laughs> we definitely want to juice all this beautiful purple um, parts and you don't want to throw it out and as long as it doesn't have dirt in it if it's organic you don't want to go crazy and take everything off leave it on don't be scared this is where good nutrients good bacteria comes from and what I love about this juice is it's very diversified in color so you're getting all these different colors and these are prebiotics prebiotic is a fancy word for fiber, which is in vegetables. So you've probably have heard of take your probiotics. Well, your probiotics, the good bugs in your gut have to get fed and they get fed with these prebiotics. Now, a word on celery juice. I don't use a lot of celery juice and I don't recommend a lot of celery juice for my females who like me have low blood pressure. How do you know? If you're sitting and you're squatting and you stand up really quickly, do you ever get lightheaded and feel like, woo, or you go to get your blood pressure taken at the doctor's office and they're like, wow, 90 over 60, that's kind of low. This will lower it even more. So be careful, don't have too much celery juice. Same thing with cucumbers. 
Cucumbers also lower your blood pressure and these are both cooling. They actually literally decrease your core temperature. So for my guys out there who are, tend to be hot, even have high blood pressure, this is great for you guys. For us females like me, who tend to be cold, hypothyroid, low blood pressure, if I have too much of this, I can get dizzy. And all of these actually, the way they detox is they push out bile. Bile is that green, nasty substance that is, if you've ever thrown up bile, you know it's fluorescent yellow. And that's how your body gets rid of toxins. It pushes out bile from the gallbladder and that's what makes you go to the bathroom. That's what gives you a nice brown colored stool. So we want to push out bile. If you're constipated, you are toxic. And we want to have this juice at night so that you have a nice bowel movement in the morning. Best time to go every single morning, even twice a day, three times a day. That's what you're supposed to do. If you're going really often, you go in the morning and then you go four times after that, that's actually constipation. Constipation means that it's not complete. Lemon is citrus, is acidic, but when it goes in the body, it alkalizes the body. So all I did is just take the skin off, but you don't want to remove all the white. This has got the bioflavonoids. That's very good for the immune system. So I just cut it in half, and we're going to just really juice this. And so you want to combine some of the leaves, right? There's not a lot of liquid in leaves. So you want to combine how you do this. There's got to be a strategy. You don't want to put all the leaves in here because there's not going to be a lot of juice. So you'll see how I combine it. And there's no right way to do this. You can do it however you like. But let's start juicing. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of celery. What I love about this juicer is it's not cutting. Remember what I said about metal cutting, oxidizing? You're actually, it's masticating. It's like just squishing it all out. And then you're seeing all the fiber come out here at the end. I'm gonna put some apples. So carrots are high glycemic. It's full of sugar. You don't wanna put a ton of carrots. You don't wanna put a lot of apples, but leave the skin on. This fiber helps it not spike your insulin. Same with potatoes. If you're eating potatoes, leave the skin on. That fiber helps it not spike your insulin. We put a little bit of cucumber and then the main ingredients are the beets and the dandelion. So dandelions are bitter if you've never had them. You're probably not gonna wanna have them in a salad, but if you can, it's so good for you. Some people they found genetically they have a gene mutation where they don't do well with bitters and there are others who can eat a lot of bitters and they love it, so. It's bitter. But what happened right now is all my saliva is in my mouth just because of the bitter taste. That means my stomach acid is getting released as well and bile is gonna be coming out. So what do I do to help people digest that don't digest well, you've probably heard of Swedish bitters. This is a, a liquid that you put in your mouth that literally is bitter. I'm gonna put the garlic in here. Don't be worried about the odor if you're going to work. You can just chew on some parsley and cilantro and you're good to go. So I put the turmeric root, I put the ginger in there. I'm gonna put another whole turmeric here with the skin on. put more dandelions here. So I'm really loading this up. The greens, green leafy vegetables, full of methylated folate, very good for fertility, very good for all the B vitamins that give us energy. So you could put kale, you could put Swiss chard. I don't like using kale and things that are too hard, raw. They're hard to digest, so you might find you get bloated. You might wanna steam it just really lightly before you juice it, just very, very, very lightly, just so it's easy to digest. And I always leave the lemon to last. Don't leave your apples out for too long, okay? If they're browning, that means they're oxidizing, and that's what happens in the body. That's how we age, that's how we wrinkle, it's all oxidation, that's how our eggs get old, that's how our sperm gets old, it's all through oxidation. Let's add beets. So just a warning, this is going to change 
your bowel movements, okay? They're gonna be red, so don't be alarmed. That's not blood in your stool, that's from the beets. And you should find that your stool actually changes within 24 hours. That means that transit time is good. If you have beets in Monday morning and by Wednesday they're coming out, that's slow transit time. So you can also measure and see how quickly things move through you. And it should never come out in your urine. So if your urine is turning pink, that means you've got some major leakiness going on and your gut is very leaky. It should not be going into the urine. It should just change the stool color. All right, lastly, we've got our lemon. If you do this three or four times a, a month, oh my God, your liver is going to love you. If you have sugar cravings, do this before you eat anything and you'll find you're not hungry after. And you have to sip it slowly. Make sure you're not using a straw. I want the saliva to mix with the juice and start digestion. This is where digestion starts in the mouth. All right, so you can give it a little swirl. Look at that color, I'm matching. You see that? All right, let's see how it tastes. Oh, so spicy with a kick, not literally spicy. I can just feel all the nutrients in there. I can, I can slightly taste the dandelion, but the lemon in there is offsetting it. So it's got a little bit of sourness, a little bit of bitterness. I can taste the carrots and the apples. It's so good, it's so good. I'm like, my body is thanking itself. Let me know below if you guys make this. Did you swap out any ingredients? Did you use the same ones? How does it taste? And I'm gonna actually have my son test this. So let's see if it's kid approved. And at the very end? Go for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is it? Amazing. Amazing? Good job, here's some cucumber. Woohoo! All right, kid approved. Give it a try. And if you guys want the exact dosages of everything that I've used here and also other juices and other recipes, Check out my Clear Talks, my 21 day liver detox program. And I can't wait to help your liver feel its best. And the liver is the organ that is related to every single part of your body. So let's juice away.